Hello, and welcome to another Combos with Customers. My name is Eric Martin, Head of Sales here at Vanta, joined today by Eleanor dixon Rosh, Senior Product Manager at Resolute AI. Eleanor, thanks for joining. Thank you for having me. Yeah, really excited to learn more about how you're using Vanta. I guess, first things first, I always like to ask folks to tell us a little bit about, about your company. So tell us, what does Resolute AI do? Uh, so Resolute AI is a company that has lots of different databases, mostly around medical and scientific um, literature, um, patents, clinical trials, etc. And then we do a lot of fancy machine learning and tagging um, to basically make people be able to find stuff a lot easier. Um, and we cater to lots of different types of personas, like across like pharmaceutical companies, uh, biotech, medical devices. So from people that need to look at uh, what's going on with drugs in the market, so pharmacovigilance, we cover um, that type of things. We have alerts-based systems. Uh, we also help R&D just for like basic literature searches, um, IP searching as well, because we have patents and so forth. So we cover pretty broad case, broad, broad cases, yeah. It's so interesting. Does this like ever make its way to kind of researchers within hospitals or is this kind of kind of one step further back in the kind of like kind of research R&D world? Yeah, so it's way further um, back. So sort of like um, innovation is a huge uh, is a big uh, use case of ours. So when, um, say, most companies are trying to identify whether a drug is worth developing or even like mm -hmm. just whether a molecule is um, worth doing some more research on. So we're like right at the beginning of the process and I would say right at the end. Awesome. I love this. I went to uh, to grad school, got a master's degree. And I remember one of the kind of takeaways for me was, you know, um, just being interested in the kind of the modes of which like the modes by which like scientists and engineers and researchers like share findings from their research and mm -hmm. ultimately leaving grad school thinking like there's got to be a better way for this information to be shared it sounds like you guys are on that which is really exciting yes um actually one of the things about um the really recent announcement we did was so with clinical trials like companies are supposed to publish their research like as they're doing a clinical trial. And so that lives in like publication landscape. So in literature reviews, and it's really hard to find that. And so we've done something where we've connected the publications that exist to those clinical trials. So someone can now actually see, oh, this is the mm -hmm. literature. And then you can actually analyze what's coming out of those clinical trials, because that's something that's really time intensive and yeah. uh yeah. <laughs> that's so cool i love this i'm gonna look i'm gonna look look more into your business after this conversation um mm -hmm. i guess like just you know it's helpful for folks listening to get a little more context for your business so how many employees are you all today uh so we're 12 at the minute 12 employees and you are the senior product manager how did you draw the short straw why do you own kind of vanta and compliance Yes, that's a great question since it's not, I would say, normal for most companies. Like I'm definitely not the security officer. Um, so the director of finance was the one that found Vanta. And um, since we're a small company, it's kind of an all hands on deck type of thing. And my hand was in the deck. Um, I'm <laughs> sure I volunteered it. <laughs> um, I know I volunteered it. And it makes, uh, to be honest, it makes sense for me because um, so I am also the only product manager, product designer, et cetera. Um, so I have like a hand in like a lot of different aspects of the business as a whole. And that also yeah. includes um, customer concerns, which includes security. So I thought it'd be good for me to have an understanding from it. Then the director of uh, finance, like they um, moved on to a different role. And so it became my thing. Cool. I love it. Well, lucky you. Um, and I guess just kind of another kind of interesting question maybe is how did kind of Vanta get onto the radar of your head of finance? Like why, why did you all need to go kind of pursue a third party audit? Yes. Um, okay. So I mentioned a lot of the external databases that we do a lot of um, fancy stuff with, but then there's the other side of the business, which is um, we take in customers, internal data, internal proprietary data. Mm. And then we run all the same processes as we did on those external data sets, all the tagging and everything, all the metadata um, searching on internal content. Obviously that's really important that someone knows that there are, 
data, con everything is safe that other people who use our platform can't access it, people outside of our platform can't access it. And then the other layer is, um, say uh, there's a co company that's using it and people have different permissions to what they can see. If there's multiple people using Nebs or Nebula is the name of the product, if they're looking at content, they can only see what they are allowed to see within their own company, even if they are on our platform. And so there are yeah. many levels of security needs. <laughs> Got it. Cool. And and so like, you know, you mentioned earlier, kind of this is relatively new to you, you know, at large. How has your experience been using Vanta so far? Where have you found it to be especially useful for someone getting started on this for the first time? Yes. So uh, because my knowledge of security was basically like bare minimum, um, all of the Vanta materials of like helpful, like help docs um, that exist, like those were actually really helpful. Also, so Bronas, she's um, my like cust customer success person. I'm actually not yep. sure what her title yeah. is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, um, right. She's so knowledgeable and like I met with her probably every God, every other week for a long time and she was able to find like if she didn't know the answer there was someone else at Vanto who could then answer the question and over the course of it's been about a, a little over a year since we started actually have a much better handle on one not only Vanta's capabilities but also like learning about the whole security process and feeling a lot more comfortable about taking ownership over it so um, I assume there are companies that don't have the resources to hire a security person, yeah. um, just normally. So having that as a resource is massive. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. And shout out to Brona. Brona is a tremendous CSM here at Vanta. Um, you mentioned kind of before we started recording that you've been leveraging Vanta, you know, um, in some interesting kind of HR kind of ways as well. Like, do you mind kind of speaking more to that? Yeah, for sure. So um, because Vanta has to centralize like everything about our company security related, that includes a lot of people as in our own employees, contractors, etc, all in one place. And the basic monitoring allows us to quickly be able to tell like, oh, who has access to what have they been removed from these systems like we didn't have any process to do that. It was just like, kind of have to remember it. And hopefully everyone's on the same page. Um, yeah. Whereas with this, even if, um, because multiple people have access to it, there's more likely that we can catch things. Um, and it's also helpful for like onboarding, making sure that everyone has access to what they're supposed to. Um, it, that was an unexpected benefit, but honestly, almost just as helpful as the security aspect because cool. it's alleviated a lot of um those kind of uh, uh responsibilities i guess yeah 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 awesome cool well thank you for sharing that yeah that's it's you, what you're describing here is not uncommon when it comes to like initial leverage of anta especially for companies of your size right ultimately kind of you're going to grow up as a business and kind of reach a point where you'll need dedicated tools. And that's where, you know, hopefully Vanta has the integrations into those third-party tools uh, right. and can run the test to continue automating. Um, at the same time, really happy to hear that you're getting that leverage from kind of what we have built um, <laughs> that we see so many companies of your size being able to leverage. I, uh, I'm looking at my notes here and I, and I guess, you know, it sounds like you guys are just wrapping up an audit. Is that correct? Yep, that is. Um, we technically, um, are in the stages of like wrapping up, we're answering some final questions and that should all be done hopefully by the end of the month or so. Amazing. How much research had you done on kind of what that audit experience might feel like before embarking on it? Um, well, like Sylvanta so really was the one that um, guided us through that process. Um, and since like it's important that the auditor is comfortable with Vanta, it was very clear. It was like, okay, we need an auditor that is you know, I'm happy to use Vanta to begin with. And so Vanta provided, I think it was like three auditors um, that we met with and they were all um, great options. And um, we just chose one based on the number of people that they had worked with roughly with a company of our size, um, how uh, hands-on they would be as well. Um, 
just having an auditor that would be comfortable us answering questions um, throughout the process. And especially since we are a small company we and we had not gone through any security process, we had to remediate a lot of mm a lot of vulnerability specifically and that took an enormous amount of time and so we had to actually delay our audit start date many times over and Mm. having an auditor that was understanding of that process and also could help us understand what we would need to remediate what we ignore that was also helpful as well because can't do everything but having an understanding what their line is is crucial yeah amazing well i'm happy to hear that i'm glad to hear it's been a good experience and congrats to you all for kind of seeing uh being able to see the light at the end of the tunnel there i'm curious you know you'll go get this audit in hand um you know it sounds like you're still at the size where you're still inevitably owning compliance what's next for you all with regards to security and compliance are there other other audits that you're going to go pursue is it kind of like maintain mode after this what's next uh so yes to both a little bit so like yes to maintaining um for sure um that's why that is really helpful because it tells you what to maintain so <laughs> quite literally um and then also we want to do our gdpr um cool. it's not technically i guess compliance but our agreement to do gdpr i guess is the technical way to think about it yeah um, yeah, yeah yeah so that makes sense that one given given what you've described about your business that makes a lot of sense as something that you would pursue yep. <laughs> and, yep. I, and Maybe, maybe the last question for you here is, and I like to ask everyone this is, you know, now that you've had quite a bit of time to use Vanta, what do you think we should build next? Um, I have so many thoughts about this. <laughs> so I see, um, like I get the Vanta was built for security. Um, I do, but the piece where it's like monitoring um all of the internal stuff for from like an employee standpoint like that has meant that we don't have to worry about hiring someone say immediately to take care of that um mm. and having that maybe expanded like a little bit um would be super helpful because it basically can take care of most of our onboarding um so if there were more capabilities of other things we could integrate with just so like we can check like this is a big ask and I'm working in product I know like what I'm asking for is kind of unreasonable but um say if we could remote shut off like everyone like when someone's are being offboarded like their access yep. to stuff or when they're being onboarded um even I'm not asking someone to like uh, Vanta to do the sign on process, but if it's even just like sending someone a list in that email of when they're doing the security of we know what people sign on for, we could send them the list of the things they need to sign on for as well. So yep. again, I know it's not security, but <laughs> it's a it's a fun and it's a timely ask. I'm gonna you know give another public shout out to Brona here to uh, this time go show you our new access reviewer product where what we we have actually already built a product here that starts to take a step in that direction where okay, you know cool. for all the integrations that we have we will actually kind of show you kind of who has access to those systems in real time and we'll let you actually conduct the access review within Vanta communicating whether or not someone should or should not have access and if they shouldn't leaving notes for whoever the ultimate admin is that needs to like revoke that access so we're one step no, short okay. of actually we're one step short of actually accessing, allowing you to like kind of grant and revoke access, but um, there's already something there that it sounds like you should check out. Yeah, for sure. That would be great. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Well, Eleanor, I appreciate you taking the time today and uh, we appreciate you being a Vanta customer. Um, I'm going to let you go, but you know, have a great day and thank you so much. Yeah, no, thank you so much, Eric. Cheers.